Hey guys, my name is Rudy, and welcome to my channel of Rudy World, helping you do stuff and things. I usually don't do computer stuff, but this is an ongoing series on making Windows 7 work on my computer after I moved it. So, today we're going to talk about another live disk. I showed you higher ends, which is a really good one, and one called Threadlets. Um, this is a bootable environment. What's really cool about this thing, again, if you go into my computer here, even though it's running off of this right here, it's showing the C drive as it was with this Windows 7, which on this computer right now, as it is, is not running. But when I make changes to the C drive, it makes changes to this. Um, this you can actually use to pull up documents and things that I have on this disk. If I need to save some documents, if, I, if it's completely toast and I can't recover it, Utilities like this you can pull your stuff down. Um, I also have a USB connected to this thing here So I can access all my stuff. This is a really 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 handy utility uh, This one even has my internet that I've imported over here. So to kind of show you what we got here. This is called also known as bare metal You can do registry editing editing and I reloaded the opera uh, which is going to be on browser of choice for this morning uh, you can do administrative login, all kinds of stuff in here. You can search to see what this thing has. I just kind of want to give you a quick deal what this thing can actually do. This one has it set up like this, so it's really easy. Um, I'm just going to go through these real quick. Communications, you got Skype. Uh, if you got a virus, this is also a great way to scan your system if you can't get into it. Uh, CDs, utilities, you can print stuff. Uh, do searching, file managers, documents, uh, let's see here, hex editor, that's a little bit beyond my scope, defragmentations, uh, work with the hard drives, resetting passwords, uh, if you got your windows locked out and you can't get into it, this will actually unlock it for you, using these two utilities, and even BitLocker, which I've never used, um, got various utilities this is a great little disc like I said I've used this as my toy box I uh, joke about my uh, my box of toys and I'll show you my little friend here <laughs> um, Windows recovery this is the same thing as uh, your recovery discs if you have one or if you don't three operating systems uh, let's see these are uh, if your drive is not booting these are really powerful utilities and uh, definitely want to read and check what you got Best thing I would recommend if you messed up something is you make a copy of everything, and we'll get to that here in a second. We got VPN networking. So for me, I selected my browser here, which is Opera, and it placed the. There it is. So we'll come back to that here in a second. And let's go this a little bit more. Oops, wrong button. So we have the networking stuff, we have, uh, I wouldn't mess with these unless you got an older operating system like XP, you got diagnostic here for your hard drive stuff, hard disks, you can make backups in here, if you connect another hard drive you can actually clone your hard drive if you're afraid you're going to really mess make things worse, uh, and backup and restore, here's all your backup stuff, like I said, great little disk. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about the screenshot that was at the beginning is probably the main reason that you're here. The SFS Sync 04.sys. So, you know, the great thing, and I'm going to let out the magic here, uh, how guys like me look some of this stuff up, and then an ordinary person can Google and find out what the problem is. So if I open up my Opera, and I type in the code, which was... SFS Inc. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Zero 04 dot SYS. Like I said, read you can type first thing in the morning. So you can see it's corrupt, or and that's what's causing some of the issues. Now, if you look into this, you will notice, let's see here, here we go. What is this file? 
You can see that it's linked to a company called Starforce here. This is a copy protection thing that's on one of my games that's loaded onto that Windows 7 disk. And since this thing got messed up, this file, now it doesn't want to work. Uh, so now what I would do is I would go in here. I'm going to get rid of this. And I would type in Starforce. together and let's see here let's do it like this uh, you can also get by with this one by hitting the uh, hitting F8 and you can get in that area as well what I want in here is I want to get the company's this one's going to show it to me here and I'm just showing you that in, in a matter of a few minutes, you can actually work your way through this. Um, as you play with this, you're going to kind of know which ones are causing your problems. And let me put this in here like I did before. So the SFS 04. And I'm going to look at... What is it over here? And it's going to reference Star Force Protection. It's going to take me to the thing. Sometimes it does, sometimes it does not. Star Force Support. Here we go. Alright. Yep, Star Force right here. So now I got Star Force in here. And since I already did this, you can put in the file name again. SFS sync 04.sys. And I'm looking for the manufacturer. Here we go. Starforce. I click on it. And it tells me, here's the utility, to remove this software or to modify it. Be careful what you download, but these are the guys. The SFS Update Utility and SFS Remove. I already have these, so we're going to access them. So I'm going to go into this computer, USB drive, and I've got... Starforce Remover. Click on it. Hit the EXE. Now, this one might have already removed. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, reinstall this. Which is this one here. And this one doesn't have it. I think I... Yeah. Normally, typically, you could run this through here. Or... If you get into safe mode by fixing your windows, you can go back in and, and run these. But that's kind of the typical way to try to fix issues like this. If it doesn't work, or if this utility doesn't work, then try to get into it with safe mode. Uh, we will go through that. Actually, we'll try that next. But I think we're going to have a boot problem with this one. Actually, we can't. So this issue, uh, we're going to fix... As we uh, get look closer to getting Windows 7 to work on this operating system. Anyway, I hope this worked for you guys. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Until next time, take care.